man oh man I was up all night driving my truck and man is that thing enjoyable driving it around barely got any sleep just tossing and turning thinking about my new truck so farmer Jim called me this morning and he begged and pleaded he said please please he has no corn in the ground he wants us to come help him out so so we're gonna go help him out do some planning let's get to it If you don't know, we did purchase a field and we do have one field that's unplanted still, but I think it's important to help Farmer Jim out. He need, he has a lot of land and he needs to start planting. Before I go over and help Farmer Jim out, the dealership is trying to sell me a disc off their lot. They said it doesn't really match their uh, color scheme for their John Deere lot there. So basically they have a case disc on their lot they're just baiting, pleading if they can get rid of it. I have no problem with red paint on this farm, so I think I can get a good deal on it. I don't have a disc on the farm yet, so I think it'd be a good idea to get that if I can get the right price for it. So before we go to Farmer Jim's, I'll go look at that. Man, look at this beautiful truck in here just barely fits in there look at that it's almost right up against that door there raise that garage door another thing is I didn't realize my uh, uncle did this this thing is crazy I didn't realize I didn't even realize this was here uh, I realized that they had a basement but he remodeled this this is nice got a little theater in here I didn't even know I had this. How weird is that? So that's kind of nice. Definitely a beautiful scene there. Wonder if that's our our field over there with some snow on it. Might be. But anyways, we need to get to the dealership here quickly. Jump in our new truck here. Look at the time. I just love the time that it reads out on there on the dash right there. So we'll back this up here quickly. Make sure we don't hit Buck or our Dodge there. There we go. Start heading off. So the plan is hopefully to get a good price on this case disc. Uh, I don't know if they'll sell it for too cheap of a price. They are a dealership, so they kind of know what the going rate is on things. But man, just look at them LED lights. Man, they make this truck look good. The thing just pops. A good looking truck, that's for sure. I'm sure I'm glad I got this. So we're gonna race down here. Hopefully, uh, go get a good deal on this disc and then uh, go directly over to uh, Farmer Jim's. Man, that road is just bumpy. I'm going to have to get the road grader to do a better job when it's going down that road there. Make sure I stop. Don't want to wreck my truck already, that's for sure. That is a beautiful countryside over there. Man, that pretty. Just love the looks of them uh, forest over there while the sun is coming up. So we're pulling in over here. It looks like uh, that's the disc. So they said they just recently got this disc in for uh, trade in. Kind of looks nice. Actually, we better park over here. go all right we'll shut that truck off of course you can get this truck off the link off the bottom of course everyone's asking if this truck will be available and this truck will be available there is some still some testing to do on it a few changes don't want to keep sending you different model or versions but after that we will send it should be available for you Something else caught my eye when I was driving up here. 
I'm not even sure what this tractor is. A CBT. Now that is a weird, is that an air cleaner right there? That is different. Is that an air cleaner? Or is that a tank? I don't even know what that is. It does have a three point linkage. It's a diesel 2400. Not sure what that means. Never even heard of a CBT. Now, these fenders are just giant. That's weird. Looks like you'd have to almost, you can't even use them for armrests. It's kind of different. A little bit different tractor. You kind of sit over to the side. I don't know if I like that too much, but definitely a old, good looking old tractor. Yeah, see the seats are just off to the side. I don't know why they do that, but different tractor. You definitely feel tiny sitting in that tractor. Anyways, let's go over here and look at this disc here. So this is a Case International 490. So fairly good looking disc. What's that driver doing? What the heck is up with them drivers? Don't know what's going on over there. There, now they're gone now. But, good looking disc. Let's see if I can get a deal on this or not. Don't really have a lot of money, so I can't pay too much. So I probably shouldn't have, but I got this disc for 6000 So I think it's a fairly good deal. At least in my mind it is. So we can always use a disc on the farm. So obviously all we had at the time was a chisel and a cultivator so this will be uh, help us out every once in a while you need a disc no matter what even if you are a z zero tilt operation you always need a disc for the odd jobs around the farm so let's get this hooked up to our new truck here start this old truck up we'll turn this around here we go. There, that should be close enough. There we go. Got it hooked up even though we had the ball on the hitch. Had to take the ball off. Everything seems like it's uh, pulling nicely. We'll have to make sure we put the flashers on. So actually you could see them from the rear here, even though uh, this doesn't have a uh, light hookup on it. There you go. See if we can make this turn or not. Should be able to. So if you don't know, Farmer Jim just lives right on the other side of this dealership. I kind of don't pity him because he gets to see all the pretty green paint every day when he goes over to his farmyard so don't know if I have the willpower to drive by all that new equipment every single day so it looks like he got a few of the tillage tractors pulled up over here so we are probably gonna pull over, pull over to the side here want to keep this out of the way it's not in anybody's way shut this off that should be good right where it's at so I think I'm going to go park one of these tillage tr or both of them so he said he wants me to hook up both these planters take them over grease them up fill them up with seed get them all ready so I need to do that here quickly and hopefully we can both get in the field here soon. So we'll jump into this 95R. This thing is nice. Just look how beefy this thing is. So the plan is I'm just going to pull this right into the garage here. Just so it's out of the way. Don't think there's anything here in Bay 1. 
At least I hope not. Open this up. Nope, there's nothing in there, so I think you'll fit in nicely. There we go. Pull this disc in. Probably have to pull it all the way to the front here so it fits in nicely. There we go. That fits in. Now we can shut that. So I'm probably going to keep the 8970 parked out. I'll just back it up over here where we had the disc plant or the field finishers part. There we go. Park that right there. Man, I love the looks of this big 8970. Just look at it. That thing is mean looking. beautiful tractor that's for sure all right so we're gonna get the 82 so the, he said the 82 goes on this old planter so we're actually gonna be planting both using both for corn at least for today but hopefully we can get both planters running Let's start this up man this thing doesn't have GPS in it I don't know about that I don't have to run this tractor so he said this goes on the older planter of course so we'll get this backed up over there I think that's good enough there we go all right so I'm gonna pull this over by the garage here Ooh. this might be a challenge can I get it around this field cultivator? That's gonna be hard. All right, so the plan is to get this out. All right, uh, now is, uh, I guess uh, we'll unfold this here. Don't wanna be driving this while this thing is unfolding. It's kind of interesting how that thing unfolds. A little bit different of a planter, and then it folds down. Definitely unique planter. It's a super, super narrow when it's going down the road. This planter, if you don't remember, has the ability to put pre-emerge fertilizer right before the actual rolls and planted, so you can put it on right beside the rolls. So a little bit different of a planter. Just remembered that that uh, 83 is actually that 8R is actually right in that door, so I'm gonna have to pull it a little bit farther ahead. So we'll leave that planter, that tractor running. Jump in here. So of course we ran this uh, tractor the other day. So now we got to put it on his planter. So that goes into on the center fill planter over here hooks up this planter will be a little bit hard to uh, hook up I think I'm gonna have to go at an angle there otherwise I'm gonna have to move that chisel one of the two I think that's close enough right there, there we go it's got it hooked up all right so we're going over here now we will unfold this planter. Kind of folds like that other planter, just a little bit different with the center fill. So this planter actually has the ability to plant at 15 inch rows. We're not going to be doing that in corn. Most people just plant with a uh, 30 inch rows for corn. There are some people that do it, but in this area, usually you get better yield with the 30 inch rows all right so that's close to the door right there so I'm gonna shut the tractor off here and I'm gonna pull this other planter I'm gonna move it back it up a little bit here there we go shut that off now I'm gonna put blocks under this so this doesn't fall on us when we're greasing so it's 
put some blocks. There we go. So we'll check all the tires here quickly. Make sure they're aired up. Make sure there's nothing obviously wrong with them. All right. Definitely aired up. Make sure all the bearings spin freely here. And the little applicators and the roll parters. All right. Make sure the C depth wheels, everything spins good. C closer wheels. Thing looks good so we went I guess he's already went through all these for the spring he just wants one final look up this looks like the drive wheel we got to check that one too so it's still good so check this planner out too so this is almost the exact same equipment on this planner just doesn't have uh, the roll boxes on it so uh, beans we are planting uh, 30 inch rows we got to move each of these rolls up here so move each of these back up so they're out of the way they're not on the ground planting and uh, check all the tires check to make sure there's they, these are empty there isn't no nastiness in the all right, what's a drive wheel on this planter? Planter don't have a drive wheel? That's kind of different. I guess if it did, it would be right behind that planter. So it must have some different type of uh, wheel drive. Or maybe it's uh, they're all electric drive motors. I don't even know. I'll have to ask uh, Jim about that. All right, so all these planters are greased up, so now I'm going to uh, fill them both up, and then we can head to the field. So we are folding this planter up. So we'll go take this over here quickly and get it filled up with seed and fertilizer. like how that uh, the hitch actually extends while it's turning like that. That way the hitch isn't super long. Don't know for sure, but I, hopefully I get to drive this tractor. Kind of doubt it, but there is a chance. Maybe Jim will want me to plant more, so he'll just let me drive this new tractor. Put the flashers on. Pull out over here. Make sure there's nothing coming. So both of the fields we got to plant are really close here. All right, so Jim said just start in this field right here. So he said he will hopefully get in the field a little bit later, but we can start with this planter first. So we got it filled up. We got about 140 uh, bushels in both of them tanks there. Unfold it here quickly. All right. So hopefully nothing goes wrong here. All right, so we'll start it up here. Barely hear that uh, vacuum running on this thing. All right, so we'll go along here. Set our GPS so we don't need our real markers. All right, let's get it going here. really like this planter here. Definitely a beautiful planter running along here. Turn this old girl right here. I have to get that corner here in a little bit. But we are going to do this outside pass here quickly. Going about nine mile an hour, so that looks like the perfect seed placement for us. Kind of a big field, so this might take a little while to get this field done. We're going along here, so this is definitely a beautiful uh, view of this in while you're at this field, so you can see a far ways. See that house over there on the hill? Actually, a 
need to get a little bit farther over, so I need to be paying attention to what I'm doing here, but the thing looks like it's going good. This is definitely a good-looking tractor. Can't believe we got the tractor that dirty already. Kind of weird. So definitely dusty out the, here. It's time to start planting. We will see what we are doing back here. Check our seed depth. Make sure we're getting good seed placement. Alright, everything seems to be doing good, so that's kind of odd. Everything was set perfectly right from the get-go. So we will get to planting. Tractor looks like it has a little bit of hard time pulling this planter up this hill. Kind of weird because it has 345 horsepower though. Shouldn't have too much problems. Alright, now we're going 9 mile an hour. Now we're good. Alright, so I'm going to do two headlands over here by the trees just so it gives us a little bit more room to turn around. And then... Actually, I think I'm going to do three. I'm going to head back down and then I'll start my up and down rows from there. I had no issues so far with the planter. Everything's running perfectly. Just had a little bit of issues with my GPS going in and out, but other than that, no issues. Definitely like how quick you can turn with this tractor. Almost get right back to planting almost instantaneously. So three headlands should be enough over here so we don't have to back up when we're turning around over here by the trees. It is a very big hill right here in this field. It does have a pretty good slope right here. Almost like this should be a contour field. Well, Jim kicked me out of his tractor, so now I have to go get the other tractor ready. Oh man. It was nice while it lasted. So I'm gonna just run through the trees right here and go get the 82 ready quickly. So I got seed and fertilizer in this uh, trailer here, so now I just have to get it folded out, ready to put in the boxes. Man, Jim's truck is nice. Alright, so we got this pulled over, so now I'm just gonna back the truck over and then I should be able to fill this up. I'm gonna back the tractor up here and I should be able to fill it up nicely here. Just be basically a straight back. All right, make sure we got the right side here open. Filling up here with seed. Fill all these up. Go, got all the boxes filled up now. Now we just need to get some fertilizer. We will fold this planter up first, though. This hitch extends just like the other one does. That's kind of nice. All right, let's so we'll head out over here. So we just need to go down and get some fertilizer from the co-op and head just down the road. All right, so we're going to head out on the road so we can turn our flashers on. Good thing about these planters on these uh, narrow roads is they are definitely narrow when they fold up. So it looks like Jim wants me to chop up these, uh, it's like cotton there? That's kind of odd. I don't really see a lot of cotton planted in Oregon. But we need to chop that up so we can plant that little field too. But today we are going to a different field, a little bit bigger. We did get 1850, 1850 gallons of fertilizer filled up in this planter. And we just need to head down over here. Jim should be working there. There he is. So he looks like he's making pretty good time. Don't know. He will probably definitely beat me over here. 
where do I get into this field? So I need to get into this field on the other side of this little brush over there. I didn't see a gate over there, so hopefully there's one on one of these ends over here. All right, we're gonna have to leave this parked in the highway here quick while we jump out and open this door. Luckily, no one's coming. All right, get that opened up. Looks like we might have to shut the door to plant it right, correctly at least. Hmm. I think I'll just pull it over here. There we go. I'll jump out over here and uh, shut this gate. We don't hit it when we're doing our next round. Shut off the blinkers. Alright, now we're going to unfold this here quickly. Alright, so we're going to take a really quick look at all this just to make sure nothing is majorly wrong that we could see. So I do like how these, these roll boxes, they have indicators on the sides there. That's kind of nice. Never noticed that before. All right, everything looks good, so we're going to plant a little stretch here. All right, we're planting along here. Everything looks like it's going pretty good. Uh, I just want to do a little bit of stretch. This cab is definitely more bouncy than the other cab, that's for sure. I'm bouncing all over the place in this field. This field is cultivator. It's so weird. All right, we're going to jump out here and check our depth our C placement. Alright, so it looks like our everything's good. We could head off. So this 82 has a little bit of hard time pulling this planter. Might need to upgrade this one day. I doubt I could get Jim to because this thing is, has a lot of nostalgia for him. So it looks like this planter is working great. All the actions work. It's a beautiful side of the field over here. A little bit of odd shape. Got to go around these trees and everything. Definitely looks like some good soil over here. I wish I had this field. So I don't own, I own a field not too far from here. So actually, if you see, there's one field in between us. So I believe that's Jim's field too, right over there. Not 100%. But then on the other side of that is my new field I purchased. It still needs to be planted, that's for sure. All right, planting over here. Got to make sure we don't run that planter into the barbed wire fence. There we go. So I think I'm going to work on the end rows now that I got a, a good uh, round the circle pass there. Uh, get a little bit done over here. I'll put a, about three in rows on each side. So this will be our last in row on this side of the field and then we'll start our rows. We still have the other side to do. This end of the field has a little bit of slant in the edge corner over there. All right. Hopefully we can get all the way to the end right there. All right, there we go. I think I'm just going to back it hard over here. Start in right here. Say you think about me because I'm starting to doubt we will find a way back to each other when you're on the other side of the world. I'm here and I'm waiting, but I know I can't say that we didn't end it for good reason. Still, I'm hoping we'll be meeting soon. We're just turning around here, so we got probably about half the field done. I would say, yeah. Uh, Jim actually got done with the other field. He is actually on the other end over there. You can just barely see him. He kinda, he's kind of hidden by the mirror. 
right now. That mirror's just like in the perfect spot. But he's over there running. So now with two planters in this field, it's going to go way quicker. Uh, I'm getting down on uh, corn here. So I only have about 14 bushels, just under 14 now. So don't know if I'll be able to last the whole field. Uh, that's going to be in question. Uh, I don't know. What depends how quickly uh, Jim can plant over there. This tractor kind of seems like I hear something grinding or something. After we get done with this field, I might have to take it into the shop and just look at it, just to make sure everything's working all right. There's definitely a different sound. I don't know if that sounds normal or not. Uh, hopefully it's nothing major. So it looks like Jim is actually going a little bit quicker than I am, so... He's going up and down quicker than I am, that's for sure. Even though my rows are longer, seems like he's making better time than me. There he is right there, running. That planter sure is dirty over there. Look how dirty that thing is. He'll probably make me wash it even though I don't even get to drive it. Oh well. So we actually just ran out of seed so farmer Jim he's finishing up the last pass almost worked perfectly for us so nice and convenient that both of these planters are the exact same width so fold this up here and then uh, I'm gonna head back towards the farmyard and I'll start uh, washing this off I'm sure after I get done, Jim will be over there and I'll have to wash his off too. Yep, we won't even get back to the farmyard before uh, Jim is done with planting. So we've got these two fields planted pretty quickly. So now we just need to clean these off. Alright, so we are just going to pull this over here by the pressure washer. Wash this off here quickly. Alright, so we'll start washing this tractor off over here oh looks like Jim's coming up here we got done holy cow Jim what the heck you really got that thing dirty man look at how dirty that thing is I mean this planter was dirty yeah at least mine was cleaner in this thing so of course he's making me wash this off get that nice and clean get his beautiful new tractor nice and cleaned off over here so he says that he's just going to leave the planters out tonight he doesn't like leaving them out but we're going to leave them out because we're going to be planting early tomorrow but need to get over here and just start pulling home my big old disc start pulling this old girl home but thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Oregon thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe see you next time